To understand what I'm about to tell you, you need to do something first. You need to believe in the impossible. Can you do that? Welcome to the DCTV Report for the week ending Saturday, September 2nd, 2017. I'm Edward O'Hare, nicknamed to be determined. The dog days of summer are pretty much done. Preacher really delivered this week as it heads into the home stretch. Plus, I have a retro pick this week that really knocked my socks off. Let's jump right in. Monday, Preacher. Eugene learned that Hitler started World War II because of a plum cake, asked him for help escaping hell, and jumped down the hole with him. The gang had the armored truck pulled out of the swamp and were surprised to find that the saint escaped. Tulip tried having the guns and sword destroyed, but ended up leaving them in a mailbox. Cassidy bought Dennis a puppy, but Dennis wants to eat it. Jesse realized the gimp dog they met earlier this season actually was God, but was unable to find him again. Star played Jesse's prayers for him, and we learned Jesse blames himself for his dad's death, and his scary grandma ran Angelville tours. Jesse refused to help Grail and told Star to shove it. Last minute reveal? While shoving the tapes of Jesse's prayers up his own ass, Star ordered Hoover to fulfill his assignment. Free the Saint of Killers! This week's retro pick, Constantine, Season 1, Episode 4, A Feast of Friends, which first aired November 14th, 2014. Uh, written by Cameron Welsh, directed by John F. Showalter. So this was the 2014 TV series of, of uh, Constantine that aired on NBC. It starred Matt Ryan as John Constantine. Also featured Angelica Salea, Charles Halford, and Harold Perrineau. This is a show, John Constantine, the Hellblazer, as you might know him. Uh, he's a, a, a magical, mystical mage, chain-smoking, and, and just a real hard-living bastard who finds himself battling dark arts constantly. This this is a, a bittersweet because uh, I think there was a lot of potential in this show and I think it was squandered uh, by the network. I just don't think that this show belonged on NBC. I think it would have, you know, if they'd had cops in it, it probably would have been on Fox and it would still be on tonight, today. Kind of similar to what we see with like Sleepy Hollow and Lucifer. And, uh, or I think it could have fit in in sci-fi or even if they made it just a little darker and edgier, it could have fit in some place like FX or AMC. But NBC, they tried pairing it with Grimm, just wasn't the right home for it. There, this is this is a great character. You know, I feel like if you read some 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 of the uh, the production materials, it seemed like they were arguing with the network more about uh, how much he's going to smoke or how they're going to handle the smoking uh, instead of important things like story and character. Specifically, this episode, the Feast of Friends, John's old pal Gary Lester, who's a bit of a junkie. Uh, but really looks up to John, comes into Atlanta, where he's st uh, where he's living at the time, and uh, accidentally releases a hunger demon uh, into the world um, that, that he'd saved. It's all these flying roaches that kind of, like, devour people, and then it's just really cool. <laughs> uh, this is a really good episode. You get a lot more on John Constantine's backstory. Um, they develop the character of Zed uh, a little bit, the, the thing I love is the ending, because it, it perfectly illustrates how Constantine is this bastard who wants to be a good person, but somehow just can't help himself, you know, into making certain sacrifices uh, that he needs to do in order to save everybody else. And uh, uh, I, I think this is this uh, is my favorite episode that I've watched so far. Uh, from my retro picks. I, I really encourage you to go out and see this. Uh, there is going to be a Constantine animated series on CW Seed, similar to like what they've done with Vixen, but I, I wish they could do more with this live action character. Matt Ryan actually guest starred as Constantine on an episode of Arrow about a year or two ago, um, but there's, there's something more there. Uh, I don't think it's right for CW, but I think you throw this on Sci-Fi or USA, there's something there. Go check this out. Do it now! Sorry, don't mean to be pushy. 
Well, uh, that's the DC TV report for this week. You can find me here and on the Wicked Theory podcast live every Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern on Mixler. Feel free to download us wherever good podcasts are given away for free and visit us at wickedtheory.com. I'm Edward O'Hare, and this has been a Wicked Theory Studios production.